Okay, students, in the last video we made a rotating blueprint. In this one, we are going to go ahead and make an interpolating blueprint. So once again, I'm going to go to Blueprints and choose New Empty Blueprint Class and choose Actor. I'm going to call this one Interp Blueprint. And like last time, I'm going to add a static mesh component. I'm going to go ahead and make it a cube again. I'm also going to squish it again. And I'm going to choose a different material this time. And go with concrete tiles, but you can choose whatever you like. This time, I'm going to add the interp2 movement component. So interp is short for interpolation, which means to move between two points uh, or multiple points. And if you see here in our description, you move the root component between a series of points over a given time. So with the interp movement selected, we can look over here and see some of our options. The main ones we're going to worry about are control and behavior. Control is where we add our control points. What are the points that it's moving between? And we create them by clicking this plus sign. At the very least, we need at least two points to have so that it can move between them. Here is point zero and here is point one, and I can open them up like this. Now by default, these positions are relative to the object, meaning it doesn't matter where I put this object in my world, it's gonna move in relation to where it started. However, you can turn that off and use actual real in-level distances if you prefer, but I find this is easier. Our first position here, I'm going to leave as 0, 0, 0, so the platform stays where it is. The second position, or second point, I'm going to make be x, 1,000, y, 0, z, 0. Now when I simulate, you will see the platform move to a far distance and then stop. I'm going to make that distance a little smaller by reducing this number to 400. Notice that when I made the distance smaller, it also moved slower. That is because the way the interp movement works is that it has a total duration, and that is consistent every time. It doesn't matter where my point number one is, but it is going to take one second to get to its position. If I put it much bigger, like 4,000, you will see it move extremely fast. This is something to keep in mind when you're adding multiple points. To that end, you can in fact add an additional point, or many more. I'm going to add a third point, which is named point 2 here, and I'm going to make that point be at 400x, 400z. If you imagine this, what this should do then is move 400 this way, and then move 400 up. Now let's talk about the behavior tab. There are four different behaviors. One shot, which is the one we're doing right now, where it happens once. One shot reverse, where it's going to turn around and stop when it gets back to the start. Loop reset, where it moves and then teleports back to its original spot before starting again. And then the one we mostly use for platforms, ping pong, where it will continue going and moving back and forth. If this platform movement feels too fast for me, I should increase my duration. I'm going to go ahead, compile, and save. If I move my interp blueprint out here, and down so I can work with it, we can see what it does. You should also know that under the play button are other options, including simulate. So you can simulate from this window too. For example, I can see that this platform moves in this direction. So I should rotate it if I want it to work the way I envision.
There we go. Now, just like our previous blueprints, I can make a copy of this blueprint and make edits to the interp movement component, including removing one of these points and making new ones again. Here I'm going to make this one 400 up, and it takes two seconds. So this platform should only move up and down. Much like our rotator, you can imagine how I could make this into a hazard if instead of being a platform, it was something like a big, heavy uh, block that tries to push the player, for example. We can have our movement have it move you out of the way. This isn't a perfect solution because you can't do things like have it pause at a selection, and there are better, more complicated ways to make final platforms. But these are great, simple ways to make a prototype or proof of concept for whatever game you're working on.